Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. And in today's video, we're working on this 2007 Toyota Camry. In this install, we're gonna show you how to replace the factory mid-range 6x9 and tweeter up in the dash. Let's get started. All right, so as we jump into things, now this model does have JBL, but whether you have JBL or not, the action is going to still be the same with removing the door panel and speaker. And then we'll get you up into the dash to show you that as well. Um, I have an angled pick tool, a Phillips screwdriver, and a panel tool, which is really all you need for this um, installation in terms of tools. The first thing you want to do is pop this little panel out that's back behind our door handle. It's gonna expose a Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. Great, next here on the left hand side, you have a little little clip that you push in the center and then you pull the outside out and then we're ready to push it back in. That's the reverse effect. You pop it out, put the clip in place and lock it. Okay, with that out of the way, next here is we're gonna use our panel tool and put pick tool to remove this panel off the side here. And essentially it's gonna just be hiding two screws. Be careful, you don't want to break it, just like that. Pull the two Phillips screws back behind there as well. Finally here, with that same panel tool, let's remove the sail panel up here and above. Just held on with two clips, and that's it. Everything else is just held on with clips holding the panel in, so you can use this panel. I like to kind of start where I can get my fingers. And we're going to start popping these clips loose. Okay, once you feel all the clips uh, loose, you can lift up on the door panel. Kind of jiggle it free. Now your handle is just held in with clips. It should come on out. Disconnect your harnesses here. And you've got your one harness down at the bottom. You set the door panel off to the side. Looks like all our clips stayed in the door, which is perfect. Our light did pop on out, but it's just held on with a clip so we can put it back into place when reinstalling. Now we're ready to, to go ahead and pull the speaker. Let's disconnect it. There's a little tab that you can push in. Should come unplugged just like so. And these are either 10 millimeter or Phillips. It's up to you which one to use. There we are, speaker is free. Now let's head up to the tweeter and show you how to replace the tweeter as well. Okay, so we have you on the outside here, but essentially we're getting this grill on off. I'd like to use my, my little panel tool. What we're doing is just popping the clip to pull the, the grill off, just like that. With that grill off, it's held in with two 10 millimeter. Now you can try to get a socket in there, it's really tight. So I just have a wrench, We're using it a 10. Now don't drop your bolts into the dash or they'll be gone. Also very tight trying to get this out. And disconnect your harness. Okay, so with this also out, let's head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're gonna need for our install. All right, so we're here at the bench. now. Here's our factory set and the set that we're gonna go with. Our replacement set is this Alpine Type S six and a half inch coaxial system. This is the Alpine Type S S-S69C. It comes with a mid-range six by nine and two tweeters. So this is great in case you do have a factory component set, but still six by nines in the door so you can keep this large size speaker while still replacing the tweeter. Now to accommodate these in the factory location, we need a 6x9 speaker bracket adapter for Toyota. This is the Metra 82-8146. Now they do make this bracket also with a 6.5 instead of a 6x9. So we can link that variation down in the description. And to mount our tweeter in the factory location, we picked up these bracket adapters, which we'll link in the description as well. This one specifically fits a 2 inch speaker tweeter cutout. The tweeter itself is one inch, but plus the bracket itself, it is a two inch hole. Now wiring for the door, it's gonna be these Metra 72-8104. Now again, these come in pairs, you don't have to buy two of them. 
but we've already used the other set for the driver's side. Now for the tweeter wiring, there really isn't a great adapter on the market, so what we're going to use is actually modify this harness that's on the factory tweeter and work with our aftermarket one to get it all soldered up. So at this point in time, what we need to do is grab our aftermarket 6x9, get it mounted in the kit itself. We're going to grab our door speaker harness adapter and get it all mounted up. Now one quick thing to note, Metro does allow this little hole so your wiring harnesses can fit back to the speaker terminals itself so you don't have to cut one or pinch the harness nowadays, it's super nice. Now I like to test and tape my harness just to give it a little more protection. Okay, so our 6x9 is done. We do like to zip tie the harness to the basket just so it doesn't accidentally get pull pulled on. But this is done, we can set this guy up to the side. So moving on to the tweeter. So let's go ahead and remove our harness off the tweeter. We're gonna just cut this, leaving just enough length in case this has to be reinstalled. Now on this harness, positive is gonna be green, negative is gonna be black. We're done with this guy, we can set him off to the side. Now we have our aftermarket tweeter and bracket, and we've already mounted the tweeter in the bracket adapter, and it comes with a big nut to hold the tweeter into the bracket, which is super nice. We've also modified this, because we've done these Toyotas before, where this may sit too high and not let the grill of the dash sit and clip back into place. So we've shaved these down just a hair, so they're a lot skinnier. Same thing with the other side to let that set a little flatter. We use the multi-tool to help us do that. But this is ready to go. Now we have a ton of extra wiring and length that we don't need. So we're actually gonna cut this short. This is our passive crossover and the mid-range already has a crossover so we don't have to have an actual crossover separate unit. This is just in line for the tweeter. Now one end will plug into the tweeter here then the other end goes to a signal source, wherever that signal source may be. And sometimes you can just tap to the back of the mid-range. It's just totally up to you um, if that's a full range signal. So what we're going to do is actually cut all this short. We're going to wire in our adapter and then our output from the crossover. We're going to cut this short, cut this short, and just solder them back in, removing all this extra wiring. Okay, so our harness is done. This end plugs into the factory plug. This end obviously is the tweeter and it's all good and loomed up. And this will sit just inside the sub dash here. We'll tuck it in a place that it does not rattle. So at this point with our tweeter and mid range done, let's head back to the car and get everything installed. All right, so let's go ahead and reinstall our new speaker using the factory hardware. All four screws that we pulled out of the factory speaker. Let's reinstall with the new bracket here. Get them nice and tight. Once those are all tight, let's connect our new harness adapter to the factory speaker plug. Now it's also a good idea at this point of time to test everything before you reinstall the door panel. Ours sounds good, so let's go ahead and clip our door handle mechanism back into the panel itself. Make sure it clicks back into place. Once it's done so, then we can go ahead and hang the door panel back on the door. Start from the top, it hangs and clips into place. Spend your time to make sure you get it all lined up and then push on down. Once it's all fully down, it should snap back into place, snap all those clips back into the door panel. Once those are all back in, go ahead and reinstall the screws. First screw in the handle, second screw in the grab handle. Put the cover back on. Once the cover is back on, we are done here. So let's go ahead and jump now to the dash. Let's plug our tweeter back into the harness that we modified for our new tweeter. Once that's been connected, let's tuck our crossover deep into the dash so it doesn't rattle around. And go ahead and install the tweeter itself. Using the same hardware from the factory tweeter, let's get it nice and tight, bolt it back into place. All right, for the grill. Now, if you notice that your grill still won't clip in, we just shaved the area here. You can't tell from the top side, but this just gives us a hair more clearance. Finish. 
that's about it for this install. Now we're doing a couple other things to this Camry. We're replacing the radio, we're doing a five channel amplifier, we're doing the rear speakers and a subwoofer in the trunk. So if you wanna see those videos, check the description. We'll have a link down there that walks you through step by step on how to make those other installs happen. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. And we'll see you in the next video.